Columbia Children's Health throughout its history has been an innovator, inventor, and leader in pediatric precision medicine. Columbia Children's Health is the present and the future of precision medicine. It's using the tools of science to get to exactly the right diagnosis and to get to exactly the right treatment and intervention that is going to be transformative for that particular child. Dr. Julia Bayer is a pioneer in precision medicine for the children that are in our intensive care units. Dr. Bayer's vision is to have precision medicine interventions that will save their lives. Critical care medicine and the environment that we work in is actually the right environment, I think, for the precision medicine. If you look at the definition of what precision medicine is, it's really defining the best principles and best treatments of a particular group of patients, and mostly depending on their biological differences. In the critical care environment, we have huge amount of data to inform the care. We can choose available treatments that we have better, as well as we can design the trials that we have been doing much better. Dr. Josh Milner, as one of the world's leaders in pediatric immunology and immune dysregulation, is finding ways to bring forward the tools of precision medicine to advance diagnosis, management, treatment, and cure. Every child that's born has a newborn screen done through the state where the little drop of blood on their heel is sent off. Um, and in a small number of children, there are a few disorders which could be identified, which could be treated if uh, identified before um, any symptoms emerge. Something like Guardian, the incredible innovative program that Columbia is doing is to add to that newborn screen whole genome sequencing to look for genetic mutations in a humongous number of potential disorders, which could be intervened, could be prevented, if we just know about it beforehand. The Guardian study is a first of its kind. It is approaching healthy babies and their mothers in newborn nurseries and doing screening for conditions that could be amenable to early intervention. I first met Michael when he was 10 months old. His parents' and family's life changed. They went from dealing with cradle cap and spit up to learning that their child had a very severe and life-threatening immune deficiency. And it was jarring for them because on the surface he looked perfect. SCID, or Severe Combined Immune Deficiency, is a genetic disorder, essentially, that leads to a severe impairment of very important parts of the immune system, which are critical for preventing typical infections. Once an infection sets in, because the immune system can't fight it the right way, it becomes much harder to treat that child. And so in Michael's case, we absolutely needed to know before he got infected. It was like a roller coaster. It was really scary. But when I spoke to Dr. Williams sitting down and we spoke, she said, listen, your son have this condition, cause it, and she broke it down. That's when I, I was like, my son have something serious. Michael was admitted for about two months in the hospital. And during this time, he received chemotherapy to prepare his body to receive new stem cells from his sister's bone marrow with the hope of correcting his immune system. When I saved him, I felt like a superhero. I'm so happy that he's alive. I'm happy that he's in my life. He's doing incredibly well, and it's been wonderful to, to see all of his milestones, and his family have really brought us into their family and have trusted us with so much and it's been, it's been a true privilege. Columbia saved my son. Starting with housekeeping, to nurses, to NPs and doctors, I would not have gone through this without them. This is an incredible and in fact, unprecedented way to save someone's life. There was no other clue, no other way to know that had to be identified before the infection happened in order to save his life. And to our knowledge, this is the first time that's ever been found anywhere. This is the most extraordinary time in the history of medicine. We have 
brilliant physicians, caregivers, scientists, team members that are focused on bringing the science of precision medicine to the challenges that children face today. Some of the most beautiful and inspiring things we're talking about only exist because of the partnerships that we have with our community, because of the partnerships that we have with those who have found it within their hearts to contribute and make this work possible. If a family were considering coming to Columbia, I would say that they could be certain that their child will be cared for from bench to bedside. That is what Columbia is building, and that is what we're offering to families who seek care here.